Alright, today we're going to talk about lust. What is it and how do we fight it? Lust is the inordinate desire for sexual pleasure. But what sometimes seems like an inordinate desire for sexual pleasure is something that we just have to control, we find ourselves having an inability to control it. It seems like a game that we're never going to win. So, what is lust really? A lot of times, what seems like lust and manifests itself in lust is really insecurity. It's the hidden attack of insecurity. Why? Why do I say that? Because insecurity tells me I'm not comfortable with who I am. I'm not comfortable with who I, what I look like. I'm not comfortable with the way that I think that I'm perceived by people. And so what do I have to do? I have to compensate for that lack that I perceive in myself, that insecurity, and it manifests itself in sexual actions I uh, act out with other people. This can be with random people that make me feel good and special for a night. This could be people with whom I'm in a relationship. This can even happen in marriage if I seek the other person in a way that's not healthy for me. The first step to fighting lust is to be comfortable in who I am. Fundamentally, that starts with our relationship with God, to recognize that we're made in His image and likeness, to recognize that we are deeply loved by Him, and ultimately the great dignity that we have and the great dignity that other people have as well. And when we act in lustful actions, those actions are disordered. <laughs> and lead us to treat ourselves and lead us to treat other people beneath their dignity. And it ultimately leads to unhappiness. So, what's the best structure to fight lust? One, being comfortable in who we are recognizing the beauty of other, who other people are, and then we have boundaries. When we deal with lust, a lot of times we have to think, it's not about me being strong in a particular circumstance, it's about me not getting myself into a particular circumstance. A lot of times people who are dating talk about, oh, well, we fell into sexual sin. Well, it turns out they're sitting on a couch late at night in the dark watching a movie, cuddling on the couch. It's not a surprise when you fall into sexual sin. What does fighting lust mean? Often it means being smart, not strong. To say, oh, I'll just have the strength to make it through the particular... That's not what God wants of us. God wants us to be free. When we put, in ourself, we put ourselves in situations that we're not free, it becomes very difficult to maintain uh, healthy sexual attitudes and behaviors. This goes also with our relationship with technology, that we tend to use people in situations uh, where we are tempted by lust in, in our uh, own homes, with our phones, with our TVs, etc. The key is so often not being particularly strong in a situation, but just not allowing ourselves to get into those situations. So fundamentally seeing who we are in the image and likeness of God, in having healthy self-image, healthy self-understanding, in understanding who people are in God's image and likeness, and properly understanding them, and then creating boundaries that help us to live according to our dignity and respect the dignity of those around us.